Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. I am starting this vlog off kind of different. I usually just jump right into the dental stuff, but today is such a special day because the couch has arrived. So I am obsessed. I, I just think it's so perfect. I do wanna get maybe like a C-shaped table. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I am so excited, but I just have to say it was so stressful watching the movers yesterday bring the couch up because we could see them from the balcony and let's just say they were struggling a little bit. It's stressing me out so much because I'm such a control freak, but they're struggling. But it is here now, it is perfect, and I am so excited. So today, the only thing on my agenda is to do my nails. Yeah, because this situation is not happening anymore. I did these like the day before Christmas and now it's January what? January 10th? January 9th. And a lot of my friends have asked how I do my nails at home. I have an at-home gel kit, so I'm gonna show you guys what I do. And maybe if you guys have some tips, you can leave them in the comments. Today, Rhodey's just gonna be watching football, obviously. Then after today, I do have a really exciting week coming up in dental school. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be doing a pretty big filling. Then Tuesday, I am in endo rotation. Wednesday, I'm doing a buildup. And then Thursday and Friday, I have SRPs. So really exciting week coming up. So before we get started, I do need to set the record straight on <laughs> <laughs> my light situation. So this is the curing light for the gel polish and it used to be really cute but I took it with me to Oregon over break and some acetone spilled all over it when it was in my luggage and it melted but hey it still works. So to remove your existing polish you're going to need some acetone, foil, and cotton balls. You're gonna first file off a good layer of that polish off of your nails just to help out that acetone. Then you're gonna wrap each finger with a piece of cotton soaked in the nail polish remover wrapped in foil. Then you'll wait about 10 minutes with that on. Then you're gonna be able to scrape off that polish with this tool and it should come off really easy. If it doesn't, just soak it a little bit longer. Then I like to put lotion on all of my nails and push the cuticles back with that same tool. Then trim my cuticles. And then you can work on shaping your nails. I decided to do pointy this time. Then you're gonna buff the crap out of your nails. It really helps the polish stay on longer. Then you're gonna wash your hands really, really good with soap and scrub those cuticles. Then I have my base and my top coat here. And this is the set that I'm using. I'm gonna use this purple. And from here, it is just all about the polishing. So first we'll start with our base layer. Uh-oh. Oh no. <gasps> Yay! Then we're gonna go with our first layer of color. second layer of color and a third layer of color and then finish off with our top coat. I love it. Okay, I finally finished. So I think that was the last time for this guy. It's time to get a new one. Okay, he's just <laughs> Brody.
having my coffee with collagen powder and cinnamon. It's what I drink every morning. If you know me, my day does not start until I've had my coffee. This morning I have a filling. So it's already 7.20, which means I've got to leave here in about 10 minutes. And then this afternoon, I just have one class. It's behavioral health. It is in person, but I'm feeling pretty. Is there a feeling to describe how people feel on Mondays? Cause that's all. Operative cassette, my burrs, handpiece, then anesthetic, then for fillings I'm gonna use edge, bond, then composite, I'm gonna use light cure, going to check occlusion, and then um, since I'm just doing lower anterior teeth, I'm gonna use mylar strips to isolate and wedges. Got my ambient shield of course. small ones but on number 22 23 and 24 they were incisal and then I also took some impressions and did a bite registration and this is the situation I'm gonna clean this up glove on the floor okay guys I am going home I need to eat I am hangry and Sorry, burp. so the end of my appointment got really annoying I just had like a couple little questions that I needed to ask but we actually only had one faculty this morning because the other director is doing interviews so I decided to take a bite registration and face foam but I did not take a centric relation so I will need to take the centric relation for my patient next time because he's gonna need partial dentures so we need to know where his teeth naturally come together so Kind of annoying that I didn't get that done today, but I was just waiting way too long and I didn't want to make my patient keep waiting. And I'm hangry, so I just need to go eat. Definitely hear every single word from every drop, right? Mm -hmm. Walking by is not a big deal. Okay, perfect. So I ate, I feel much better, but Rhodey is back in the apartment and he just has back-to-back -back Zoom meetings. So I came down to our apartment's conference room and I'm just gonna get some work done, finish my note from this morning, maybe do some editing if I have time, and then head back to school. We have that lecture at three o'clock. So I have about an hour and 20 minutes to get some things done. Anyway, deuces. Although literature is great and we always go to the literature.
goodness for my coffee. Good morning guys. I just finished my meeting with Dr. Alexa. We went over my patient list and then today I am gonna be in this little room all day practicing root canals. So stay tuned for that. First things first, we got to pick a tooth. Cassette here, got my burrs, got my files, and my type of is ready. And this is how you take an x ray of the tube. That's it right there. Alright, I'm gonna start with this little anterior tooth. I just mounted it. If you guys are interested in learning more about root canals, definitely check out my root canal vlog. We had two weeks of just root canals back to back to back. Really good video. Check it out. All right, guys. I have my apical third filled, and now I'm going to backfill with the Optura. A little tooth. This is what's going on now. There it is. Okay, the obturation I think is really good. I did get a little off course with my access, so I do need to work on that. It is 12.17. I did three root canals today on those teeth, and I really need some coffee. So I am in the line at Starbucks. Only the drive-thru is open, which is fine. I got my salad and go, so I'm just gonna eat my salad while I'm in line at the drive-thru, listen to a podcast or something, and then go back to school and try to get some more root canals pumped out. Guys, I love salad and go. This Thai salad is $6, and it's huge and amazing. I don't care what anyone says, I love having lunch in my car. It's so peaceful. I'm back! Oh my gosh, I hate molar endo. Way too long on this one, too short on this one. Alright, I'm pretty darn proud of this. Went a little too far here, but the other two are really good. Well guys, I am finally home after a long day of root canals. I got five done today, so I'm really happy about that because I only need two more before I can start doing root canals on real patients. And tonight I'm just gonna make some veggie fried rice, some Kevin's chicken and some vegetables, and Rhody and I are just gonna hang out and watch some TV, get a good night's rest for another long day tomorrow. But I'm gonna end this vlog here. I'm all vlogged out, but I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and leave something in the comments if there's anything you'd like to see in any future videos. And have a good night. I hope you guys liked it. We're right. watching sports. We are not watching sports. Rody, like, no more sports. Football, basketball. Good night, guys.